Coventry United Match Day highlights are sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440 -011. Email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or pay them a visit at 301 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2 4BL. <laughs> Doing her again. Where's the other going? I was going to talk Townsend. to her. Two options in the centre. He's laid it off for Muzzy and Duna. Tazen goes down. Free kick. Coventry United right on the edge of the box towards the left hand side. Let's see what Prinzel can do. Usually, it's either Thornton or O'Grady having a go. Let's see what centre back Rob Prinzel can do with this free kick. That's what he can do! Yes. Low and hard, past the goalkeeper, Coventry United take the lead. Move over, Kevin Fortin, see you later, Josh O'Grady. There's a new set piece taker in town, and his name's Rob Prinzel. Did you do it? No, no, don't, don't, Jonathan. <laughs> I don't think he's got a very good sense of humour. Leave it. Fans, Jane Granger of Tiddale, and here comes Craig Stevens. Good challenge to the end by. It's a long range striker. Tiddale got the equals. I wasn't expecting that one. It's Craig Stevens. Crocksmith for the challenge. Stevens got on the ball, tried his luck, and found the far bottom corner. And Coventry United have been pegged back. It's Tiffany Dalton. 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 Penalty. Penalty. Coventry United. Well, that didn't last long. Tiffany Dalton have only equalised just a minute ago, and already the men have shot themselves in the foot. And handed United their lead back. Penalty kick is forced down from behind. And Coventry United have a golden opportunity Chris. to make it 2 1. And you know who's taking it Chris Cox. Yeah. Chris Cox steps up against the Ruskinians. It's Cox. It's Losing their lead, they've got it back. Coventry United 2, Tiddale 1. Captain's goal for Chris Cox. And a lapse of concentration at the back for Tiddale has cost them dearly. Moonin. Glasgow. Once again, you have to find the way to the penalty area. Thornton, Cookby. Glasgow. Beautiful through ball down the right hand side. Moody can put this one in here. It's still Pierre Moody! Nice! Good goal! Three, Tiddale one, and a goal of his own making. That's how we bloody did some of them. Townsend. On the right hand side. Yeah, yeah, making the run, and also Tommy Glasgow's there, put it off the right hand side with Simeon Townsend. He's got Matt Hunt for company. Can he get one into the penalty area or will he just keep it in the corner? Townsend, forced away from the box, he plays it to Josh O'Grady, he's forward once again. What? Simeon Townsend, can he make it four? Takes it around the goal. Yes! Four, Tiddale one, and Simeon Townsend gets in on the fun. And he makes sure that the defenders aren't stealing all of the goals tonight. Four, one. <laughs> Coventry United surely sealed the three points now. Got corner, haven't yeah, Corner given the left hand side, it's swung in towards the far post. Dustin trying to get to it. Cleared by Prinzel. Man of the match, Prinzel. Is O'Grady, he's got Prinzel up there with him. Through to Fruda Hammond. Go on, son! Still going, Hammond. Still going. Puts Go on! Him. What a chance now for Coventry United. Go on! Cox lays it off, it's Hammond, and now on, the old five is over! Yeah. The old five is completed! And Josh O'Grady 
means that we have five different scorers for the Red and Greens and what a performance in the second half for Coventry United. We started the second half at just 1-0. Five goals later, it's 5-1 to Coventry United. What a second half. Not better than the bloody first. United breaking away from the back. Hammond, Cox, no, Grady. Hammond put the ball to the right hand side for Josh O'Grady and a player of O'Grady's calibre is not going to miss a chance like that. Coventry United 5, Tivdale 1. And that's virtually the last kick of the game. Coventry United seal a comfortable victory. That Oh yeah, you want to... An incredible second half of horse for the Red and Green. Maybe five ones a little bit harsh on Tipdale. We've had some decent opportunities in the second half to try and get themselves back in it. But sadly, all the visitors, they leave empty-handed and Coventry United can put the heartbreak of Hina behind them. The old five and three points to go with it. The final score at Sphinx Drive, Coventry United five, Tipdale one.